We know you're not going to redeem it, Sarah, but. <laughs> Maybe I wrote a list. I'm not that scared. 
Um, so I, I basically wrote a list of all of the things we learned. Some of them are, you know, awesome. Um, so here we go. Um, we learned about human trafficking and um, what people go through even in the United States. Um, and it kind of helped um, with our awareness and helped stop human trafficking. Um, we learned about the hurricane, which was amazing. You know, we, um, up here in Washington, we don't really usually think about it. And, you know, hearing from um, one of the youth directors that was down there um, during the storm and just the hardships that he went through, coming back with a three-year-old son and his wife and seeing that their home is completely destroyed. It was, it was um, kind of eye-opening to, you know, actually realize what, what went down, what happened down there. So, um, we, we learned firsthand how low, below sea level New Orleans is. Um, yeah, it's like, like everybody else said, sidewalks underwater within an hour or two of raining. It, it didn't stop. <laughs> um, we also learned that two miles, walking two miles with 36,000 people in the same direction feels a lot more than two miles. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, and we also learned the importance of being at the airport um, on time or, you know, early in the course of those days. We learned new ways to pray and some of the things um, that, you know, Everybody has their own way to pray, but it's kind of fun to, you know, see all the different ways that some people are praying. Um, um, we also learned that one way to get the seven of us that went all together was to find a little hole in the wall bookstore. This bookstore that we went into was, I don't know, it was very small and filled with all kinds of books to the ceiling, you know, there's a footpath all the way through it. <laughs> walking, walking through. Um, and one of the other things I wanted to share, I learned a lot about some of the friends that came with us and about everybody that came. Um, Cheyenne can make friends anywhere, even when she doesn't really want to. She made friends in the airport, and you know, it was, it was pretty amazing. Ruth, obviously, is super brave. I mean, the first day we got there, she saw the, the uh, booth to donate your hair, and she thought, I don't really know if I'm going to do this. It might be a little short afterwards. I don't know. And we came back and she did it, and it was the bravest thing I've ever seen. It was amazing. Um, Eli, <laughs> Eli, Eli, he will do anything to um, sing karaoke, even if it means driving the rest of us in the rain. <laughs> in, in thunder, like he starts, yes, but we love him. Uh, Wendy likes to find the machines for souvenir pennies, and I, I love it too. And she can find them pretty much anywhere, and it's kind of amazing. You know, we walk by, and she's like, ooh, penny machine. And I'm like, I did not even see that. I kept walking. She's, yeah, she's also afraid of heights, especially in glass elevators. She didn't, didn't really know that. Um, Sarah, <laughs> we, uh, we got to make pan flutes out of PVC pipes, and it was pretty amazing. Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> we, learned, we learned that the one thing Sarah is not germophobic about is pain flutes. <laughs> and then there's Sandy. Sandy is fearless. You know, she's the one that will cross the street, and even if the rest of us are back on the, the other corner, she just keeps going, fearless in crowds. And yeah, so we're really thankful to have had all of this experience and you know, thankful for our. Um, our chaperones that went with us, and yeah. Well, you've probably heard this. Wendy's not here this morning, and then Cheyenne and um, Eli, they have other things going on, but they, um, they had lots to share as well. So I do have some numbers to share with you because I'm kind of a number person. This is what the ELCA recorded, that they, um, they had donations for blood, for the blood drive, for hair, and then for offering towards um, the wells, um, the 100 wells that the um, ELCA is doing. So overall, there was given more than um, 1,193 pints of blood. There were 509 heads. They just cut off an amount and then they got a certain amount. Heads of hair. So I think we had like two right here because she had so much hair. <laughs> Um, $256,000 were collected during the Sunday offering. 
So um, pretty amazing. And more than $400,000 was donated towards the 100 Wells Challenge. So um, there were some amazing speakers every night in the Superdome, um, some great talented speakers. And actually, a lot of them were either youth or were pastors. Um, I don't know if you've heard of the sarcastic Lutheran. She's a Lutheran um, pastor out of Colorado. and. Um, very vibrant woman. She's got a lot to share, um, tattoos and a lot of history that she shares and connects with some people in different areas, but she's online um, under the sarcastic Lutheran.com or .org. Um, and then there's a few other pastors that shared that really connected with the kids. Um, and then um, a great speaker, um, young, young man out of um, Philadelphia that shared about his, his challenges in life and how he's using to um, to fight justice as well. And so it's been really good for the kids to hear all these different speakers and all these um, people from all around the world um, that came to share their stories and connect with the youth as well. Um, all of the speakers and all of the bands and all the different artists that perform for us are on YouTube um, under the LCA. So um, I've connected a couple of them that the kids really like to our um, website and to our Facebook youth account. But um, if you're interested in connecting to them, you can just um, look under YouTube under the ELCA Youth Gathering and find all those speakers. Some of them are just little snippets, or you could watch the whole their whole 20 minute gig, which are it's worth it to hear what they have to say. Um, but we really want to thank you guys because a lot of what happens here is from your input and from your support. Um, and really it makes a difference on how um, your, your crowd support your youth. I, I talked to lots of youth directors all around um, on my trip and just in the Senate. And we really have um, a very supportive church and we value that and we thank you guys for making a difference towards the youth. So they had a wonderful time. Asked them all sorts of questions about who they heard and what they what they enjoyed and um, thank you guys very much.